It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. If somebody said, can you reverse my cancer, but I have to take all this away, I wouldn't even think about it. October is a time we talk about breast cancer awareness. A famous name is calling on men to take the disease more seriously for themselves. That's Matthew Knowles. His daughter is Beyonce. He recently revealed he was diagnosed with breast cancer earlier this year. He's 67, a music executive, and encouraging other men to learn more about the risks. Jennifer Bellamy explains what men should know about this disease. Jennifer? Men are still less likely to receive a breast cancer diagnosis than women, but when they do, it can be more serious, and it all comes down to timing. And just like breast cancer in women, African-American men have a worse prognosis or outlook than their white counterparts. Men at risk, too. The National Breast Cancer Foundation says everyone, whether male or female, develops some breast cells and tissue, meaning men, too, can develop breast cancer. While that's rare, with only one in a thousand men likely to ever be diagnosed, it can still be deadly. The foundation says men are more likely to die than women, mostly due to a lack of awareness. And because men are less likely to assume a lump in their breast is cancer, both things that can delay a diagnosis and treatment. In men, breast cancer can typically be found as a hard lump beneath the nipple and areola. It can also appear as thickening breast tissue and discharge from the nipple. Any other changes to the skin covering the breast or the nipple are also signs to contact a doctor. Male breast cancer is more common in older men but can occur at any age. Those with radiation exposure, high levels of estrogen, or who have a family history of breast cancer are especially at risk. Obesity, liver disease, men born with more than one X chromosome, and those who have had testicular disease or surgery can also experience a higher risk for breast cancer. The National Breast Cancer Foundation says men diagnosed with breast cancer should look into seeing a genetics counselor. Those who test positive for defective genes could also be at a higher risk for prostate cancer at younger ages. But the information could also allow them to share crucial information with their children about their risks for the disease. Jennifer, thank you. Today, the American Cancer Society shared a new statistic. In Georgia, breast cancer is now the leading cause of cancer-related death among African-American women. Again, that's according to a new study by the American Cancer Society. So it's important to know the facts, keep up with your health, and the leading cause of cancer-related death among all women in the United States is lung cancer. Um